Here's a 1959 Bug Eye from BugEyeGuy.com. And this is the green you would have gotten if you wanted a British Racing Green Bug Eye back in 1959. This was your choice because shortly after this you ended up with leaf green. It was kind of a pea soup green. This is much closer to what we think of as British Racing Green. It's a very nice color and it was repainted to match quite nicely. Then we have the original green interior that went with it which has these nice original door panels with the proper metal tops and this little raised area. That's the way they were when they were brand new. So we've got these nice green panels, later green carpet, later and in fact nearly new green. Such nice vinyl seats, they almost seem like they're leather. I couldn't tell, but I think it's vinyl. With good foam and nicely painted shift tower, we've got all the right gauges. Got a blanking plate here for the radio with a sprite emblem, of course. The correct steering wheel, an electric tack from a later car with an electric gen generator that could be changed back, or it's, uh, you know, for people who want the newer generator, there you have it, and this is the correct gas gauge. So all in all, a really nice car, and let's show you how well it drives. Idles really well, has the carburetors rebuilt and the throttle shafts rebushed, and We've got a nice smooth idle, 40 pounds of oil pressure at idle, and we're off for a drive. A couple other mods that I should tell you, it has these nice lollipop fender mirrors. I really like those, it makes it a lot easier to drive these cars. And we have lap belts. There's also an exhaust header. Pertronics ignition. Stops well. There's also an electric fuel pump. 